what made you really decide to kind of throw yourself in the, um, you know, in the, the reality show arena? You know, you, unlike, unlike a lot of other people on the show, you know, you grew up sort of in the public eye already and, and you saw the negative things associated with that as well. You know, this is not something that I necessarily wanted. I did it for Cisco, you know, we were dating and they were interested in him and he's like, you know, please babe, do this for me. Like, you know, just, you know, please. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do it. I let him know from day one, I didn't want no bullshit. I don't want any surprises. Tell me now, you know, but of course that didn't happen. <laughs> Things got a little crazy, but no, this is, I, I've, I've seen what the limelight can do to people and that's not what I wanted. I, I don't aspire to be, you know, a public figure. I mean, you, you know, I can't lie. I, I want to be successful, but I, I didn't want it this way. But now, now that I, I got it, I, I'm, I'm dealing with it and I'm making the best of it. Well, you know, I, I, I've, I've been dealing with love and hip hop since, since the inception. You know, since the first season, I've, I've, been, I've done cameos on the show. I've interviewed essentially the whole cast over and over again. Um, so I'm, I'm fully aware with things are edited a certain type of way and nobody on the cast has any say in the editing. Right. You know, the way you, you know, so the way you're depicted, I know is not always the way it happens, right? Right. But, you know, for example, like the way you were initially depicted, it seemed like Cisco didn't really want you to come out there and you just kind of just showed up, you know, on some, you know, not stalker type shit, but I mean like, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna show up regardless of what you say type. You know type thing you know what i mean now is that accurate that is complete bull cisco had been begging me to move out here he had been you know promising me all these things when you get here where you know we're gonna talk about engagement we're gonna be living together i have all these modeling gigs lined up for you you know baby let's really do it and so i did but then when you get in front of a camera you want to say i popped up on you which is totally unfair it makes me look even more crazy like i already have a crazy rep on the show but then you do that to me like you're supposed to be down for me and you make me look crazy nah that that's definitely some bullshit because he knows that we agreed that i would come here you know once you once you got out there well even before you got out there your mom was telling you not to go right she saw straight through cisco from day one she was like, you know, he seems like the player type. He seems like he has another life. You know, just, you should stay here. You know, you can get your modeling going here. You know, you have enough going for yourself in LA. Just stay, like, please don't push yourself through all this drama. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm gonna follow my heart. Like this man, you know, really wants things to work between us. So, you know, I'm gonna leave and, you know, see what happens. Okay, well, the, the one thing that, that, you know, sort of perked my ears up a little bit was you moved out there, you know, there's this whole buildup you're saying, you know, he wants you to move out there. You move out there, but you don't actually see his house? Like, that, that just sounds crazy to me. That was a surprise to me, just like it was to everybody else. Um, when I landed in, well, before me even coming to New York, he said we were going to be living together. I was going to be staying with him. Then when I get to New York, the story changes. Oh, you know, I'm not ready for this right now. You know, I'm, I'm going to get a new house, a bigger spot. And then, you know, we could talk about you moving in. Like shit just changed once I got here and I started to see who this man really was. I mean, you mentioned that you guys were having sex in cars, like. That, I mean, who doesn't like, well, though? Like, what the hell? Everybody has had sex in a car. Like, I don't understand why I'm being bashed for that, America. Like, why? Everybody has had sex in a car. I mean, I'm not saying that's the only place we had sex, but yes, we we've done it in the car before. Like, what's the big deal? The way it sounded on the show was. That's the only place you guys are having sex because he's not allowing you back at his house. Right. And that, that, that's what it sounded like. And that goes right back to the edits. I wish the tape would have ran a little longer when I was talking about that. It would have clearly said other things, but I, I can't really get into that.